Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what is meant by standardizing and normalizing and why it is required. We will also see how to do that in Google Colab to get accurate results for the prediction in neural network. So let's consider the need of standardizing and normalizing with an example. So suppose I want to identify whether a patient is diabetic patient or not. So the output will be 0 or 1. And for the input we have age and value for the age is bounded between 1 to 100. Second feature is weight. Weight feature is bounded in 0 kg to 200 kg. Third feature is height. Height is again bounded in 10 centimeters to 200 centimeters. Then we have another feature that is income. Income is again bounded with 0 to 3 lakhs. Now these four different features are there and uh, these four features are used to identify whether given patient is diabetic or not. Now there are number of hidden layers and we have created a feed forward neural, for, uh, neural network for that. Now when we are identifying whether that particular patient is diabetic or not, it is mostly related with the age, weight and height generally. Now it might be lesser dependent on the income but the range for the income is very large that is 0 to 3 lakhs. Now even though this is less important since its values are very large it will be the dominating feature and it will try to put its impression on identifying whether the particular person is diabetic or not. What we are computing in this neural network that is W transpose X plus B. X is actually the input. Okay. So input value from age, input value from weight, input value from height and in input value from the income. And we are performing W transpose X plus V. Obviously, if we are taking these values as it is, then the output given by uh, this particular feature by after multiplying with uh, certain weights and adding bias will be very large compared to other inputs. The accuracy will be dependent on this income. So such kind of scenarios we want to avoid by bringing all these features in certain range. So there are two different ways. First is standardizing where we will identify the mean value. We will subtract that mean value. Then we will uh, divide that each value by variance. In normalizing we will use different norms. L1 norms, L2 norms which will bring all these features in certain range. So let's check out how to do that. Okay, so let's see standardization first. Standardization is used when distribution of data is known. Generally, it is a Gaussian distribution. It is also used when all the features are from the same range. Generally, it brings the data to a zero centered data with standard deviation of one. There is simple procedure associated for standardizing uh, the data set subtract a mean value from each input and then divide by the variance. So we have x as an numpy array. It includes 20 values. Calculate mean for it. So we have used np dot mean x. We have received mean value. Now subtract that mean value from each input. So we are getting x1 uh, array. Now in x1 array is basically used to calculate the variance. So we have squared the x1 value then we have taken the average and after that we have calculated the square root which has provided a variance. Now to rescale those values 
we have to divide x1 by the variance and we will get the rescaled value so after executing the cell we are getting this result variance is 2.98 and the rescaled x where the values are changed from its original value and these are taken to the same level with zero centered data and standard one deviation coming to the normalization we can use normalization when distribution of data is unknown and different features are there which are from the different range we can use l1 normalization or l2 normalization for the normalization we are going to use tf.keras.util.normalize normalize is function which includes three important inputs so first is the data that we want to normalize along with access and order orders value is set to two by defaultly means it indicates we are going to use l2 normalization and it returns a normalized copy of an array so let's use this method to normalize the two dimensional data so so we have to import tensorflow as tf and uh, we have used x as two dimensional data where in the first row we have one two thousand in second row we have one three thousand after using normalization function with x we are getting x as a return normalized array let's print that with print x and we are getting something like this so we have normalized our two dimensional data which has bringed uh, the original features to certain fixed range the beauty of normalization is if we square the normalized data and if we take some of its then it will provide one as a output so this is the l2 normalization so each dimension is taken to the summation of its square to one so this is how we can use normalization and standardization to bring the data in certain range thank you for watching the video